Hello my friends and welcome to episode 15 of There Are More Lights. We're going to do this little contract, because it's a new one. Blown operation. So let's do it. I just for fun, let's bring brave, brave Sir Rockets along. I miss that little guy. Sadly, my energy javelins don't really seem to have much of a place anymore. I don't play easy enough missions to see lights, that's the funny part. So there are never any more lights to add to the lineup because I never uh, I never play any missions easy enough for lights to appear in. But who said you needed anything more than four fire starters to get the job done? It is a bit odd to me though that uh, you know, the Firestarter and the Jenner are both 35 tons. The Jenner is so underarmed compared to the Firestarter. I know it's got a little bit of a bigger engine, but I don't think it moves that faster. Then again, with coil weapons, maybe it's worth pulling the Jenner out of storage and seeing what we can get done. Maybe that extra speed results in an even bigger coil strike. In fact, let's have a look at that after the mission. Why not? That looks like a rifleman or something similar. On the move. Roger that. Let's go. Moving to position. Move into position. Here I come. Like a chemical spiel. <laughs> Time to earn our money. Reserving action. 65 tons. Oh, it's a C4. I have it on good authority that uh, she sells C4s on the seashore. Standing by. Yes, Commander. On the move. The shot. Let's go. Right through the front. Damn, we actually landed two shots on the CT there. Without even trying. Oh, an assassin. Copy that. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Target neutralized. I must admit, these ultra powerful new weapons really make it a bit easy. <laughs> yes, Commander. There's no way with the old school weapons I would have been able to hit like that. Heading out. Acknowledge. Commander? Affirmative. Oh, it's a blackjack. I incorrectly guessed the uh, I incorrectly guessed the tonnage there. Ready for orders. Good to go. The 
let's hurt this boy. Alright, we have created a hole. Where no hole should be. I copy. Receiving you. On my way. Missiles away. Good old SRMs. Back when I had a choice between effectively 100 medium laser damage or 144 SRM damage. Those were my choices. Because, you know, plus, de plus 10 medium lasers were really rare, so it wasn't like a choice between 145 laser damage. What's up, boss? On it. Oh, nice hits. He's down. That's a kill. Assassinated. Yes, boss. Consider me there. I don't know. Do I fire? Sure. Got it. Oh, a headshot. I am not concerned about these mediums. Especially not the blackjack. Pull better mediums out of the trash. It is go time. We're coming in. FBI, open up. <laughs> that hit something good. Wow, there goes the side of his mech. Ready for orders. Roger that. Boom! No? No boom? <sighs> that AC2 ammo. Somehow, it How's survived. It Location confirmed. All weapons are gone. Nothing brave, brave rockets can't handle. Good to go. Uh, this boy just might as well go for for a cooldown. Roger that. Wow, that was a long range melee. I think that's a rear hit. Yep. So cheeky. The AI definitely cheats when it comes to melee. But then I've got melee mods, so uh, two can play at that game. Oh! No survivors. Target eliminated. Coordinates received. On my way. Coordinates received. Okay. Heading out. Cool. Cool some more. Acknowledged. Moving to position. Never miss your opportunity to be cool. Order received. So it sounds like there was an epic fight going on, but you cannot see it. It's just a barren space. That's some hardcore APCs they've found, though. Moving to position. Acknowledged.
Okay. APCs are proceeding smoothly. Heading out. Acknowledge. This is a really weird drop zone here, or pickup zone. I mean, the pad is here, but they're being asked to park in this forest. You'd think that the pickup zone would be here in this open space. On the move. Yes, I'm there. There's going to be more enemies. There has to be. There's always more enemies. And here they come. Good work, Commander. Hold this position until the package is under. All oh, right, they spawned here this time. Sometimes you get them here, and here, and here. I can't even remember if sometimes they appear up here. All right, should be easy enough. Waiting for orders. Position confirmed. I'm behind you. Good to go. Roger. Back in a simpler time, when you had a lot less firepower to play with. That's when the Javelin was the king of the battlefield. That's a kill. Or maybe not the king. The jester of the battlefield, maybe. The squire of the battlefield. Of course he went for that because his PPC is within minimum range. I haven't attacked either of these two so they'll probably go for the convoy. Oh, I say that and he goes for a melee. Ooh. That shot hit internals. He has just enough melee attack to get through my uh, arm armor. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. You dare show your back to me? <sighs> I am going to end him next turn if one of these APCs doesn't decide to get a cheeky shot. Oh no, this APC has maneuvered out of the escort zone. Which means it's going to bug. This is a bug. It was in the zone, now it's out of the zone. I'm pretty sure that means it's gonna bug out. Standing by. And I do not believe there's anything I can do about it. Targeting for an alpha strike. So what I love about escort missions is when they don't work. Standing by. Go.
go. Here we go. Oh. Nice and simple. Nick, destroy. That leaves one griffin and a dream. I might be able to lure this griffin into killing him if he's the only one that doesn't move. Because of the wh where he's positioned. missiles at the boy for fun. What's up, boss? It is go time. I think to go. I might be able to persuade this enemy to kill this APC for me. Receiving you. Standing by. Watch the flank. Ah, oh, he went the other way. Oh, he maneuvered back in. Huh, he maneuvered back in. Which was totally unexpected. Hey, it's not bugged. Phew. Now it is time to put an end to House Gryffindor. Yes, Commander. Lifting off. Waiting for orders. Location confirmed. Go. One in the back. Boom. Solid connection on that one. Need something, Chief? Uh, yes, I'd like a dead griffin, please. He is roosted on the hill. Receiving you. Time to shoot him down. Roger. Taking the shot. Oh wow, he has no clue what to do. Hey there. Except except defeat. Let's do this. Come on, Sir Rockets. It's been a while since you got a kill. Yay! What the One hell? Less target. All right, that is some. Uh, that's some. That's some crazy tiptoes there. Mission successful. <laughs> that's some planking there. <laughs> I love it. All right. 
easy money. Remember when I used to worry about putting lost tech things into lights because I thought they would be easy to lose the equipment? I remember those days. Slightly higher chance to hit my ass. <laughs> the height advantage in this game is amazing. I'm just lucky I haven't encountered a map where the enemy is on a massive hill and you have to climb it. Alright. <clears throat> Should we go and play with with Kel. I might be limited on some flashpoints because of my reputation as well. You can ally with the pirates and thus ruin your reputation with everybody. And of course I can enjoy my uh, 111 reputation with the Fed Sons. Ah, uh, it looks like the mercenary rating now stops at a thousand and doesn't go any higher. <laughs> it used to just keep climbing forever and then eventually it would wrap around and cause problems. People complained that they reached like 3000 MRB rating or something and it broke the game. Right. Um, before we make too many of these stupid 180 jokes, let's uh, let's change the arm mods because I actually found another plus 10 mod. Five comes out, ten goes in. We've reached peak fire starter. I don't know what you could do to make this any better than it is. This is an insane killing machine. Every every mech could be like this. So, if I stand up a Jenner, and I stood them all down because I didn't really think that they would be that useful. Do I even have any? Do you know what? I think I sold them. That's great, but why not actually show me the movement? It's a little bit irritating. I get the feeling that a Jenna is the home for a large, la a large coil. It could be amazing. Or at least very cheesy. Flee! Flee the battle. Oh, that's another one of these ones that doesn't weigh anything. New equipment available. Totally fine to just shove in somewhere.
All right, let's go somewhere else. See if I can pick up a Jenner somewhere. Let's go do the Kel mission. Because why not? See if I can get my... Uh... Ooh, new, f new flashpoint added in Brockway. Let's have a look. This one? No, that's the one that we saw earlier. This one? No, we saw that earlier too. And this one. Is this Brockway all the way over here? Extracurricular activities. Sweet. We can bounce our way through the uh, through the periphery doing flashpoints. But let's go and do Kel's one, because why not? Maybe I shouldn't rest until I've completed every flashpoint with four lights. Four lights and a dream. I would, I would like to get my hands on the Jenner, actually. I think it would be fun to take one out for a spin. With a large coil in it. If we get the equivalent of five large lasers out of the Jenner, it would be hilarious. If you can get five tokens, then you would have a shot that did... Um... Ooh. 140, 50, 60, 70, 85, 185 damage in a single blast. Pretty sure. For 70 heat, so you're going to have to cool it down after, but... But boy, does getting hit for that kind of damage really sort of ruin your day. Alright, this planet is abandoned, so... Unfortunately, there's not going to be a store. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. There is nothing in store for us because this place is abandoned. Sometimes you find mercenaries at abandoned places, though. Oh, okay. There is a limited shopping experience. Minus DFA self damage for no tonnage. New equipment available. Plus one to melee hit, plus 20 stab damage. Plus 20 stab damage for no weight. That's quite nice, too. New equipment available. You know, these, these weightless arm mods and leg, leg mods, if you're not doing anything with the space, you might as well. Right? Let's get my gear repaired. Job's done, Commander. Alright, that is it for now. A little bit of a short one this time, but I'm sure with the flashpoint, the next one will be quite long. Um, so yeah, I'm going to carry on hammering out these flashpoints, and I think I will... I think my next goal is to get a Jenner back, and see if I can put a large coil in it, and see what kind of what kind of pain I can deliver with a large coil Jenner. Just double checking the firepower of the large coil, which I know will fit because the Jenner has got four medium lasers as a stock loadout. So I know a large coil will get in there. So, it's 35, 70, 105, 140, 50, 60, 75, 175 damage in a single shot for 70 heat. And that's a full 75 damage more than you would expect with four medium lasers. 25 damage more than you would expect for four top-end medium lasers. 
Slightly less than you would expect for these new ER medium laser plus pluses. Which that would top out at uh, 180. So only 5 damage more. And it would be 10 heat more too. So for 70 heat you're going to get 175 focused firepower for 70 heat. Um, yeah, for 70 heat, 4 tons. That's crazy. I think on a Jenner, this thing's going to be amazing. Make a fantastic little sniper. More damage and lighter than this. But considerably more heat, that's the difference. Considerably more heat. Of course, it's only a thing if the Jenner actually moves faster than the... Uh, than the Javelin. I think the energy Javelin is really quite quick. But I think the Jav... I think the Jenner is a little faster. Just a tiny bit faster. Because I'm pretty sure once you get the four medium lasers in, it's got basically no tonnage left. So there's more tonnage definitely going into its engine. Anyway, something to think about. Oh, and one other thing that I wanted to think about while I'm here. I had this little sniper, Irby. I have heard that there is some seriously tasty uh, ballistics out there that could turn this thing into a little monster. So in this configuration, we have 12 tons available. Seventy and seventy, one forty. One forty AC two sniping. But I have heard that there is an LB two X out there that does more damage. So we can I get a check on um, nah, not necessarily more damage actually. I think there's an LBX two out there that does like. 78 or something, but this actually does 70, so it's uh, it's not too different. So if I could find another one of these, we could fit them instead of these. And do far more damage at far greater range. And have a fun little sniper to play with. So that's something to think about as well. I'll have to find the gear. You know what's funny? Two Ultra AC2s in the Urban Mech is 140 damage as we just discussed. And that means that that's got more firepower than the stock Jaeger Mech has got, which is a heavy. And it hasn't even got much armor either. Because uh, the two AC5s are 90, and the two AC2s are 50, so that's 130. So you'll have an urban mech that does more damage than the stock Jaeger. And probably has more armor. Because I'm pretty sure the stock Jaeger has like 480 armor or 360 or something stupid like that. And that's madness. But anyway... Enough of my balanced wine. Uh, join me next time for Morgan Kills Flashpoint, where uh, hopefully we can get up to more tricky business in our four lights. So I will see you then.